Hey guys, what up, what up, what up? Let me make sure my headset's off because I've had it where, you know, my headset's on and then you guys can hear me. So how are you guys? Happy Saturday. So I'm just gonna do an eye look. Um, kind of on the bright color. Let me use like a red orange. Not too fall, but I wanna show you guys um a little bit about how to do hooded eyes my hooded eyes um i still have lid and you can see that so i just wanted to show you guys so um what i am going to start with is a few brushes hi what up sista um the main brushes that i'll be using today um because i'm going to use these three brushes these are mainly the brushes. I will probably use other brushes just to kind of blend it out. Um, but these are the three brushes that I'll be um, using. But yes, let me show you guys my blingo. Yes, it's actually this. It has a tassel. Um, the tassel is removable. So it's super cute. Look at it. So I can use it by itself. Or But look at the beads. They're so pretty. And you know what? They're thick. They're pretty on the thick side, so I like that. Like, I could tell, like, if Belen or I was holding a child of some sort of a baby, um, if they actually grabbed this really hard, it wouldn't actually snap off. So that is so good. I love that part. Um, so let me put my tassel back on because tassels are great. So this is, and it comes with the tassel, so it's really pretty. I probably can, like, wear it as a bracelet. Let's see. My crazy hair. Like, if I wanted to, yeah, I totally can, um, not too much. Like, my wrists are not that, um, small. <laughs> um, but yes. Hi. So, I wanted to just jump on here and do this and show you guys my blingo. It was really fun, actually. Um, you were able to bring your wine and kind of just, you know, relax and meet new people. So it was kind of fun for me um, being out with adults. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Tina Hofstetter. If you're watching the replay or you're watching live, you will see a live up in the right or the left hand corner and if you press on my nose go ahead and press it and click the three buttons on the top and click to follow and see me first so you can get any updates on the lives that I do so make sure you follow because I'm on the third beauty um, series that I'm doing so uh, last week I did foundation the couple of days after that I did oh my back um, I did eyebrows, so I already did my eyebrows, so I'm kind of showing you guys the look at the end. It will be the final look. So today I'm going to do eyeshadow, um, a pencil type, not a pencil, but more of a eyeliner with shadow and then mascara. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to use, um, a range of colors cause I like bright colors. So I'm going to mainly use this red color and this orange together and then throw in some, um, dark colors, mainly on hooded eyes. You guys, you don't want to use a lot of shimmer. I'll use shimmer here, but it's only going to stay in the front because that's where I want the light to attract. So, um, that, or you can use this one, which is, I believe, sweet dreams. Um, and you can use that one um, just right here, like I said, just right on the lid because you don't want to use a lot of shimmer because that's where the light will attract and then your hood just looks really overpowering. So you just want to make sure if you're using shimmers, you're using them nicely and softly so that you're not attracting because the light at a certain angle, when you hit it, the light will attract it and you'll be like, oh my God. What was I doing? What was I thinking? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Share this video. Um, if you know anybody that has hooded eyes or just eyeshadow in general. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. I like to use, um, let's see. Actually, I'm going to grab. Um, I like to use a dome type of brush um, to prime my eyes. And I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. 
and that's a little bit for us okay on our lime life um concealer so it's real um it's real potent and a little bit a little pigmented it's just a little pigmented so i hope you grab value from this video and if you did or you are go ahead and shoot me um or put in the comments um what you really liked about it i actually threw on my foundation and i went to the store so i had to get stuff for pico de gallo that's what i made um i made some mexican rice and then um, i'm actually gonna go to a friend's house so we can kind of hang out with the kids and have fun right so it's always fun when you're able to do that so i'm also going to um set my eyes and the color that i'm going to use for my eye setting is this which is oh, let's see and you see it's kind of more like a a yellow um i use that because it's great on my skin tone um you can use more of a cream color which is doesn't have yellow or you can use um or you can use um more of like a white like not too white because you don't want to be crazy crazy so i'm um, just ooh arroz con pollo i love arroz con pollo it's so good but um i like it my kids are not really fond of it because they don't understand the concept of why the chicken is with the rice <laughs> So, I'm trying to make this easy, quick, to show that um, anybody that has hooded eyes, as you can see, I'm using a lighter color. It looks like my hood is kind of disappearing. Um, hey, Tina, that necklace reminds me of the, my mala. Oh, actually, Heather, thinking of that, it actually looks and feels like that. Um, so, it has a little swag, but I really like it. It's um, really pretty. It has like a brown, um, like a brown bead, and then the white, and then it has like marble, as you can see, mar beads on it. It's really pretty. It actually reminded me of you when I saw it, Heather, actually. I was like, oh my god, I need to get this. So the brush I'm going to go in with um, to start my coloring is this, along with um, our like shadow brush and it's number 10 and number seven so how I'm going to use it it's a little different than everybody um, everybody's different you can apply it however you want um, I'm going to take the red and barely dip it in does the tassel move over the beads no because I'm going to show you it actually um, comes off and I can use it by itself. So that's kind of cool, right? Like, I don't have to use a tassel if I don't want to. But the tassel is kind of cool. It's, you know, fun. Um, does it move on each bead individually knotted on there? Actually, it does look like each one is knotted. No, it's okay, Heather. I love it. Conversation. Um, hi, Carly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wave at Carly. I'm going to um, put this red in the crease, but I'm not going to go too high because I don't want it to be really high. So I start here and I'm using mattes because I'm trying to create a crease. I don't want to use shimmers in my crease because I do have hooded eyes. Um, I don't want to attract too much going on there so bear with me if I stop and look up because I have a big mirror in front of me and I'm just gonna stay in the hood like that in the crease line and you'll see right so that makes it easy if you don't have a crease um, you can always make one I want you to put it in the middle more well it is in the middle well maybe it's like there does it look better now I won't move oh Carly's the best 
Right. Hi, Martin. So I'm going to put it in the crease line. My crease. And I'm just going to start there, right? So thank you guys for the hearts. I love it. And I'm just going to blend it out, right? So I'm going to get the angled brush. And I'm going to get the orange. And I'm just going to put it here. Up. In an upward motion. And kind of move it over just a little bit. Because it's going to open up my eye. Of course. That's what friends do, Heather. <laughs> so I'm just going to angle it. So then when you see it makes my eye look a little open and you could have did this with the red also and I'm gonna dip the red I use the same brush and I'm just gonna drag it almost in the middle let me put my hair back a little bit so you guys can see Heather in the middle. So, so you guys can see my face and not my curls. So, I'm just gonna go here, right? And then go in the crease line. I almost closed both of my eyes right now. <laughs> right. And then you'll see me do a little trick to open up my eye area with our concealer. So, this is probably just going to be a fun, colorful type of tutorial because I love color. But I am going to darken it up. As you can see, I'm going to take a little bit of our brown, which is brownie points. And I'm just going to put it here in the end, okay? And then I'm going to blend it in the crease. Because I'm wearing black, I like to wear, like, colors on my eyes. So it's going to darken it up. You see that? And then it's fun. I'm making grilled lemon garlic Spanish mackerel for dinner. Mmm, that sounds good. Well, I'm meeting a friend, well, one of Tanner's, one of our friends that used to live in our complex. And I'm just going to move over the brown just a little bit. And then I'm going to actually take this brush, which is more of a fluffier brush, and I'm going to just blend it up. Um, I'm actually, we're going to her house. She moved into a house down the street, not too far from us. And we're going to have dinner with her tonight. And the kids will be able to play for a few hours. And then tomorrow is a busy day because we have baseball and other things to do. And Tanner has tryouts for baseball. So then I'm going to get the, get the fluffy brush. kind of angle it because what I want to do is angle it up so then my eye looks higher with especially with hooded eyes you have to be careful you don't want it to be too brown like that right you want it to be enough where you can still see your color And if you need to, you could just hold your eye up so that you can get into that crease line and blend it up. And you'll see that I will blend it out. And blend it a little bit in my crease line to give me that dimension of my eyeshadow. Hi, Debbie. So you guys, Debbie, she's on right now. Say hi to her. She's the one that I won my Blingo 
necklace from from yesterday it was fun i had so much fun debbie thank you for inviting Oh, you you are wearing the lipstick. Woohoo! You have to post it and tag me. I want to see how it looks. Because I hope those were your colors. To me, you seem like more of a natural, um, natural lipstick person. So I felt like that was um, creme brulee and macaroon. And you see, I'm doing my eyeshadow up in more of an angle so that my crease line over my hood doesn't go down you guys should do like an online party we i'm thinking of doing one so and i'm gonna bring it over and up because if i have a hood but remember i'm not going past my crease line because then it's just gonna look all one color and i don't want that um i'm so happy you made it yes if you want free jewelry message her yes you guys i know you guys have friends that love jewelry besides me so i love jewelry um so then i'm gonna take the same color i'm gonna dip it back into the the yellow i mean the orange that i was using and the red and i'm just gonna brighten it up a little bit because the darker color is going to give you more of a dimension. Ah. I love using this orange as a crease color in the red. So you guys, I have to talk to you guys about what um, when I went to the event yesterday, they had a Mary Kay. For people that are with Limelight by Alcon, they had a Mary Kay. She was there. Her name, guess what her name is? Mary Grace. And I swear she reminded me so much of Mary Kay. Um, she lives, I believe, in St. Louis, uh, Missouri. And she's one of their top leaders for Park, um, Park Lane. And oh my God, you guys. She was freaking hilarious. Heather. She said she reminded me of you too because her voice was like yours. So I'm just going to go back and forth until you want the look that you're going for. So you can do it simple. You can do it one color and then put the lighter color or you can do the darker color and go that route. It's really up to you. Um, great color. I'll send you a picture. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Skip my me. You're funny, Tim. Um, yeah, I really, I think those two colors um, were very fitting for you. So that's why I was like, those are great colors for Deborah, Debbie. So I'm just going to blend. Because for hooded eyes, I find that if I put most of my color here, um, then I don't attract this area when I do put the lighting color the light color and that's just my personal preference so it's really up to you please share this um, with your friends because if you guys have friends that have hooded eyes this can give them a little bit of a lesson on putting makeup on for a hooded eye or just whatever eye really it doesn't have to be specific so I'm going to take our like it's like a dome like smudger brush I'm gonna take the brown and I'm going to line it underneath my eye now we could be twinning at the next LLP yes we will be cuz this necklace oh my god you guys the jewelry there sorry to say but it's beautiful like I truly love the like the gold was really pretty the rose like everything was so pretty it was just like really nice and elegant like it's like an elegant but like still stylish you know and that's one of the things the lady said um there Mary Grace she was like um you guys um you can always wear the same outfit, which is true, right? 
and you change up your accessories, you change your makeup, and it's going to give you a whole new look. It's not going to give you the same look as, you know, that you were wearing probably like many moons ago. So I did that with the brown. So I'm going to take a little bit of the red and the orange and mix it in together and bring it underneath. Because I want to have both of those colors blend in underneath. I'm actually going to a friend's house to have dinner, me and the kids. So, so as I did that, um, I still like to make sure I blend well and blend it all out. Because you want to make sure you take a clean brush or the same color brush. Just make sure that if it's, it's better when it's clean and when you're trying to blend. So I'll tend to have like a clean brush like this. Um, and kind of just take out all the harsh lines and you'll see the harsh lines disappear um, see it still has very little product on it so it's like really crazy so what I'm going to do is take the yellow that I used as a base and I'm just going to blend it here I like to keep my eyeshadow on top here um, real not empty but like real somewhat clean because I like that look of it being clean, like you can see the color and then it like blends really well. So that's just my style. Your style could have the harsh lines or it can have no lines. You cannot wear eyeshadow, it really depends. Um, if you don't wear eyeshadow, why not? Like what would be a reason? And I'm just gonna, I'm getting mad because I could see that. <laughs> And it's super easy. I have my snap and bent here. So I'm gonna take this brush and kind of just blend it. Sometimes you can still see the harsh or the lines and you're just like, you know what, I don't like that look. So, and that's just me. Let me share this. I forgot to share it. Let me share it with some folks. I know some people are busy and I totally get it because it's the weekend, but I wanted to come on here because this is just what I do. And I appreciate when you share it with your friends and your family. So I'm going to leave it just like that. What I am going to do is I'm going to take the angled brush. And I'm going to wet it with our 10 years, or sorry, our time setter spray. It's because I see the product. Um, I say exactly what's on the product. And I'm going to make liner. Yes, Deb, let's do it. Um, I'm, with the brown, um, I'm going to make a liner. And it's going to be super. I like to do more like natural looks if I don't poke my eye I'm trying to do my makeup in the mirror so bear with me so I'm gonna wet it because I want it to be really wet because I wanted to pick up a lot of the product So I'm going to do that eyeliner, right? And that's going to help my mascara when I put it on, making my eyes look full. So that's what I, another thing why I like to wear um, eyeliner on the top. Or you can do it on the, you could do it with liquid, you could do it with um, shadow. It really depends on what you want to do. It's your look, remember. Everybody's different. What I find too when you use like a shadow um, versus a liner, like if you wanted it to be like very simple. Thank you, Deborah. Deborah, why do I want to call you Deborah? <laughs> Debbie. Um, what I find is that it looks smoother. And then if you wanted to make it like a smokier eye, you could. I'm 
that's just kind of what I'm doing. I am going to take the flat brush that I used earlier. I'm going to wet it with the time setter spray. I find that um, when I use a time setter spray, um, it goes on like really brighter. Like I like it bright. So I'm going to use. I believe this is, um, oh my god, it's from the Lottie collection, I'll have to write it down. Oh my god, I still don't know all my colors, like, I just put the color on, I need to actually learn the color. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit on my lid, and it's going to make it just almost like a cut crease. You see how it brightens up your eye? But I don't want to pull it all the way over here only because I don't want the light to attract to that. Theonora, share this video with your friends um, on your Facebook. And then if you mess up your eyeliner, it's all good. Don't even sweat it. Sorry. Um, I wet it and I'm just going to dab it here. And look at how it brightens up your eye area. And it gives you that pretty color. And you're just going to pat it. Because remember, it's wet. If you move it, then that's where the product will go. If you just pat it on, that's where it stays. And that's where I want it to stay. Because of my hooded eyes. Because of my hooded eyes. Texting me. <laughs> um, for tonight. So, this is how I'm going to wear my makeup. And it's simple, you guys. Makeup should not be difficult. If you find it difficult, uh, maybe you need to try a new brand because makeup should not ever be difficult. I'm going to wet the brush again because I'm going to fix the eyeliner that I post put on just on the top right here. Right there. Now look at how bright it got, like how much darker it got um, because I sprayed it. Time setter, you guys. You can use that for your eyebrows. You can use it for pretty much anything that you like. Um, it sets your makeup to a great setting so that you don't have to um, keep reapplying. So I'm just going to do a little, a little wing. And nothing perfect I don't want to do it perfect because I don't want it to be perfect I want it just to actually just stay in that area because that's just me that's how I want my makeup so it's super simple and you're making sure that you blend make sure that you blend hi Mandy hi Michelle so to me just a little bit of simple. If you want it to be a little darker on the ends, you can use more brown. Um, in this case, I'm just going to blend out more uh, because I feel like my brown is like really stuck on the corners of my eyes. And then what I'll do is I'll take um, a clean brush and I will just blend. One little tip um, for your makeup, if you have hooded eyes like I do, or you have eyes that come downwards, what you can do um, a little bit of your concealer, and you're just going to move it up. You're going to go upwards, right? And look at how it makes my eye look lifted. Just a little trick. And you're just going to do it right at the corners of your eyes. And then you can see that it makes it look lifted. And what you are going to do next, hi Neil, um, you're just going to blend the harsh lines. I, I like to use my foundation brush because it has color in it already so I don't have to do like a double. And then I will take my big brush, my shadow brush, 
and I'll blend out that line so that it doesn't look so harsh but you'll see that it is there and it still looks lifted If you feel like it's still like a little harsh, take your brush that you use the color with a little bit and then just kind of dab it up. Make sure you want to go up on your eyes because if you go down, you're just going to make your eyes turn. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So I'm just going to bring it in. And this will help blend um, the shadow on the bottom also. And it won't look so harsh. Just make sure when you're blending to smooth lines, you're using a clean brush. It just makes it easier. And so I'm just going to put a little bit there. There. And there. It's super easy, right? So and then I'm going to get my... My confined one. Uh, I get the middle. I don't know what I have in my. I'm gonna get my. What are these called? I just went blank. Oh my god. My eyelash curlers. <laughs> I need to get some new ones. You guys have to recommend some new eyelash. And guess what, you guys? Today is the day that I'm gonna open up a new mascara. I'm gonna open up a new mascara and you guys are gonna see it go bam. So and I like to warm up my mascara only because um because it's like a gel base, um it actually helps warms it up and makes it smoother. So what I'll do is in this point when I'm actually warming it up, I will put a little bit of ooh, I almost got crazy with that one. With that powder, that would have not been good. It would have not been good here. So I'm going to take a, f I like this flat brush. This is from the London Brush Company. Um, and just put some shadow or powder. Why did I say shadow? Powder under my eyes to set the concealer that I did use there. And then I'm going to put my mascara on. And then it's so simple. It's simple. You might think, oh, I could never do that. You can do it. Makeup takes practice just as anything else. You've been putting on makeup for a long time. You should be able to um, do it simple, but yet make it look bam. So I opened it. I love our brush. This is our brush. It does contain fibers, so you might get the fibers. Um, if it looks like it's clumpy, it's probably fibers actually clumping up. So, I don't have big lashes. As you can tell. Using the same thing, the same wand with our mascara. I have not re-dipped because there's a lot of product on here. And because it's a new mascara, it hasn't really fully warmed up to me yet. Like, we have to become best friends <laughs> near this mascara. As you can see, they're getting longer and longer. I'm gonna dip and go to the other eye so that this can dry. Hi Nadine, hi Crystal. Please share this with your friends. I just did um, the eye tutorial for my eyeshadow. Super easy um, for our hooded eyes. And it super, you know. I made it easy for whoever picks up this video that they can do it. 
and this is how I do apply my mascara I do one eye at a time and I don't dip it over and over again like I don't continue to go like that um, I use this just so you guys know this is a new mascara so I'm just like oh my god I love it I'm in love but we have to become best friends like tomorrow's application will be like bomb so I'm gonna re-dip it again oh thank you crystal I love I'm using this um, I made this little palette um, brown cookie uh, brown brownie points the orange and the red this is basically what I'm using so oh my necklace Ooh. let me push the comments to the side let's see can you see so if you push your comments to the side you can see the necklace really nice um, so you the black actually like it blends in but it's really really pretty the necklace the tassel does come off um, but the beads are super nice you guys look at that it's super nice so if you guys have friends that are into jewelry look into Park Lane um, their jewelry line is um, very reasonable and they have very very pretty pieces like if you're trying to make a statement um, hit up my friend she was on here her name is Deborah Toyoshiba and she um, has some pretty stuff she did this thing crystal um, called blingo sorry I just love mascara as you probably see them grow as I keep putting this on um, she played this game blingo and she gave so much jewelry away oh my god you guys, if you guys were closer to me, I would have told you guys to come because it was so fun. I know, right? It's usually my third use when I really start to get along. Yes. So I never really open up a new mascara on live, but some, I can never say never now, right? So I'm going to go to the next eye. And the reason why I do one eye at a time because our mascara is like a gel. To me, it's like gel base mascara, so it needs to dry in between applications so the best p way to do that to make sure that it's dry is to doing one eye first and then doing the other eye do I do my lower lash lines yes and sometimes I will put um, eyeliner like pencil we don't have pencil yet in Lime Life but I'm super excited when we get ours um, because I know they're gonna be like our lip liners amazing so I don't know what color lipstick I want to wear but I just wanted to do this as an eyeshadow tutorial so I just and then my next tutorial would be the blush so I hope you come back and watch this so I hope you really like this look because the colors are so pigmented I'm gonna show you I'm gonna swatch them for you guys um, so you guys can see because they're super amazing so the eyeshadows i used here are brownie points this is brownie points and look at that okay i'm going to show you guys a little trick on my arm with our time setter um just so you guys can see um i like to use look at that just with a little bit of time setter um i'm going to go in with the orange and that's just a little bit. I'm just swatching just a little bit. Can you guys see that? Sorry. I think I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> and the reds are pretty. Like, these are so fall colors. Like, who? hi, Claudia. This is such a fall color. Like, I love these colors. I think it's um, Sweet Dreams, which is, like, more of a shimmer. You can actually use it as a highlight if you wanted to. And then I use this, um, if I have a clean finger and then I used um our you can't even see it there because it's lighter than my skin <laughs> there um pineapple of the eye so I used those colors I just threw my brushes down because that's just what I'm doing but look at I'm gonna dust them because I wanted to show you guys something because they're lifted once I spray it actually locks in the product and I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna rub it and show you guys let me just wash my hands 
not that but I just wanted to show you guys how our products work when you use like setting spray look at I mean the setting spray probably haven't dried yet but it will not go anywhere like it will right now because it's wet still <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys how this works like look at that's my finger sorry I don't mean to use that finger but like as you guys just tell when it dries like you guys can see that it doesn't really go anywhere so once it dries and you guys put that on your face and then you guys can spray it on and it locks it in for up to 16 hours like I can feel it holding I don't know if you guys ever tried this um I can feel it like holding like it's not going to go anywhere these are some bright colors <laughs> but I love these colors I love mixing reds and orange together because I feel like um it's fun right oh hold on okay sorry um but what are you guys doing this weekend I hope you guys have fun plans um but that's it I wanted to show you guys an eyeshadow look this is an eyeshadow look if you guys wanted to blend it out a little bit more you guys could get a cleaner brush oops almost burnt like ooh, excuse me I had a um kivata is that how you say it it's like a drink like a sparkling drink so there it is there's look at that it's pretty amazing right once it dries just imagine if it's on your face for your foundation that is pretty amazing so talk to you guys soon bye oh sorry Look at, I want to show you guys. This is a color that I use for my eyebrows sometimes. And today I'm using um, Ashen for Trouble. Um, so that makes it look a little lighter, which I like. Um, not so dark, but you could always mix this color with another color to get your perfect eyeshadow color. But we also have other eyeshadow colors that you can wear. So they're pretty fun. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching the replay, make sure you put comments. I appreciate you guys watching. You're watching Tina Hofstetter. Bye.